All right, man, so look, I came across this crazy video. This right here is the Parkland school shooter, all right? This is like clips of be before this man did what he did. This is exactly the things that he was saying before he did what he did. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this. I have not watched this yet. We're gonna watch it together as a family because that's what we are. We are a family. So hit the like button, subscribe to our post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG. Also, I got a podcast channel. Everything that's on this channel is gonna be converted to that channel. Now, I'm not quitting this channel, but I'm saying like, I'm bringing more people onto the podcast to get their opinions on like certain situations with the government and things like that. So go ahead and subscribe to that channel, man. It's all in the description. What did I? I don't know what I just said, but it's all in the description box below. Whatever I do, man, like get it, like go. All right, so uh, here's the plan. I'm gonna go take an Uber in the afternoon before 40. From there, I'll go into the uh, hold, hold on. Could you, could you start to school? And, and so play the whole thing, please. All right, so uh, here's the plan. I'm gonna go take an Uber. In the afternoon before 2.40, from there I'll go into the uh, to school campus, walk up the stairs, load my bags, and get my AR and shoot people down at the main, was it the main courtyard? Okay, first of all, first of all, by the tone of his voice, it's, bro, he's so careless. He's so careless, the fact that he killed... I think it was 17 people, if I'm not mistaken, but y'all let like me know in the comment section below. Maybe I'm, like, maybe I'm tweaking, but... It's the simple fact that this man is so careless, bro. You can hear about Tony's voice. He don't care. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what, like, what's your purpose and point behind this. Wait, and people will die. Okay. And uh, the second one, uh, what time was that made, recorded, uh, that you found in your extraction? The second video was recorded on February 11th, 2018 at 1.47 in the afternoon. Okay. Today is the day. The day that it be all begins. The day of my massacre shall begin. All the kids in school will run in fear and hide. From the wrath of my power, they will know who I am. I am nothing. I am no one. My life is nothing and meaningless. Everything that I hold dear, I let go beyond your half. Every day I see the world ending another day. I live a lone life, live in seclusion and solitude. I hate everyone and everything. With the power of my AR, you will all know who I am. Okay, hold on, wait, first of all, no, oh, oh, whoa, bro, what the, oh my god, oh my gosh, bro. <sighs> this is why the depression is literally a serious thing. I feel like this kid was depressed. He had to have been depressed. Depression is literally a serious thing, bro. And it's like, as as people, I feel like a lot of parents, like, you need to know and you need to check up on your kids daily. Daily, bro. Because you'll, because believe it or not, a lot of parents believe that they, they think they know what, what their kids going through. They think they know their child. But in reality, bro, their kids go through deeper stuff. You feel me? As teenagers, I'm not going to lie. A lot of older people are like, what y'all stressed about? What y'all going through? Blase, blase. What y'all what y'all do this? Y'all don't got bills to pay. Y'all don't got... And I understand that. But then a lot of people, they can get bullied at school. They can feel unloved. I feel like this boy, he felt unloved. So he felt like he had to take other people's lives. But I just feel like yo, you, should, you should never let your child depression get to that type of... That type of, like, highness to the fact that he's taking other people's lives in the midst of it. That's just... Un no, that's not even right. And even if he even if he wasn't depressed and he just wanted to be seen, he wanted to be heard, this definitely was not the way to go out. This definitely was not the way to go about it. It definitely was not. Like literally, bro, I I, I feel sorry for all the kids that lost their life. You know, my condolences still go out to their families. All the kids that lost their life. Because they didn't do nothing to deserve what was brought their way. It was just a kid who felt worthless, who felt like he didn't have nobody, who felt like his life was meaningless. And let me tell you something. Anybody out there that's going with depression, anybody that's out there going through depression, I may be young, but I have a lot of wisdom for my age. By the grace of God, you know, he doesn't give, he doesn't give, ugh, what the, I can't talk today. He doesn't gave me wisdom. And all I could say is, if you are depressed, you really need to seriously talk to somebody before your depression gets to a level where you commit in some type of, you, 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 like, before you start harming yourself and start harming other people. And parents, check on your kids every day. 
You may think your kid not going through something, but your kid could definitely be going through something. You just may not know. You, you truly don't know your kid the way y'all say y'all know y'all kids. Y'all really don't. Y'all kids go through so much, and y'all don't check on them. They don't feel love. They feel like nobody cares. Just check on your kid. It's okay to say, baby, is you okay today? Simple as that. But come on, let's finish. I had enough of being told what to do and when to do. I had enough of being telling me that I'm an idiot and a dumbass. But in real life, you're all the dumbass. You're all stupid and brainwashed by these fucking political government programs. Uh, I mean, he ain't lying about that one. I ain't gonna lie. He, he, I, that's one thing I do agree with him on. I, I agree with him on that, but this does, still does not mean that you have to go into schools and, sh and, sh and shoot people. You will all see. You will all know who my name is. My love for you, Angie, will never go away. I hope to see you in the afterlife. On one day or another, you will end and we'll all die. Okay, and uh, Detective Faircross, the third one, time and date? The third video was February 11th, 2018, one fifty-five and five seconds in the afternoon. Okay. Hello. My name is Nick, and I'm going to be the next school shooter of 2018. My goal is at least 20 people with an AR-15 and a couple tracer rounds. I think I can do a good time. Location is Stone Douglas in Parkland, Florida. It's going to be a big event. And when you see me on the news, you'll all know who I am. <laughs> You're all going to die. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, yeah. Nah, Can't he's wait. wild, bro. He's making gun sounds. Oh, no, you're wild. Yeah, yeah, that kid is... Yeah, he's mentally... Yeah, he's mentally ill. Yeah. I, nah, he's mentally ill. They That man just made some gun sounds. He just said, you're all going to die. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, you're... Yeah. I, this is not even cool, bro. I mean... Seriously, this is this is the kid that didn't have no friends. Like I say, he didn't feel love. But this is not the way to get known, bro. This is not the way to get recognized. People gonna hate you more. The fact that you just took people lives. I don't think you thought about this decision. If you want to get known, make a YouTube and do what I do. I talk about political things all the time, and I talk about racism. That's how you get. But I'm not doing it for, for me to get known. I'm doing it because this is the truth. I talk about God too, because I am a, I am Christian. You know what I'm saying? I talk about all that. But this is not what you just did. It's not the way to get known, bro. No, I have no further questions of uh, Detective Fairfax. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so that's the end of that video. Now, not, like I said, uh, this is, this is, man, I, I can't believe this was going through his mind in the, in the moment of this type of incident, incident. Um, I truly don't know what exactly to say, bro. I just feel like if you feel unloved, if you feel like you're not worth it, just know that God got a plan for you. That That's about it. God got a plan for you. Regardless of how you feel, know how God feels about you. At the end of the day, we as humans, we're not going to always walk with a whole group of people. I like, I'm not going to lie. Even though Jesus had his disciples, he had, you know, the people that was around him, but I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I like walking alone. I like being alone because these people nowadays is fake. It's fake. It's fake people out here. You got real people. You got fake people, but it's mostly fake people out here. It'd be people that will stab you in your back when things come down to the wire. So at the end of the day, it's like, I like walking alone. And I feel like nobody should be ashamed of walking alone. If you don't have friends, just stand out. Be some. be different. Don't try to fit in. Be different. Stand out. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation and this kid thoughts. You feel me? Uh, this was a crazy event. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation, man. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.